Okay, here we are on the stage of Iron Maiden's final concert with Bruce Dickinson. And as you can see, I'm joined by Bruce. Uh, how are you doing, Bruce? How, how are you feeling? You know, how's the morale of final show with Iron Maiden? Well, I feel fine. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's the last show, but it's, uh, it's a good way to go out, isn't it? It's absolutely brilliant. There's a lot of surprises. We are going to give you a little hint of things to come, actually. Um, so... I guess the most important thing for this show is to have a lot of fans in the audience. I know there's about 650 uh, people coming. How did you decide who could come to this show? Um, well, it's, uh, like we've got a huge fan club. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a bunch of people coming from the fan club, and then there's a lot of contest winners from the States and from all around Europe. And, mm -hmm. and, and really, we just try to make sure that there's as many people who are, uh, who are just like completely 100% mega big time Maiden fans mm -hmm. are going to be seeing the last show actually live apart from all the zillions of people going to be watching on telly mm -hmm. okay um also I, I was kind of wanted to ask you when you're playing in front of the tv cameras you know it's going live to lots of countries around the world mm -hmm. does that actually affect the way that you're going to perform or do you just perform for the audience here no the uh, uh, thing with Maiden is that they've actually always been pretty uncomfortable um about uh, cameras and mm -hmm. things and um uh, I mean, I don't particularly have a problem myself mm. being a bit of a ham and all the rest of it, you know, more ham than Sainsbury's or whatever. But uh, that's why it's laid out this way. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's just our regular stage mm -hmm. and it's going to be a regular gig. And to make it, to make it easier for the guys, um, uh, we're actually, when the people who are watching telly are going to be seeing, uh, like, hideous, like, things happening and Simon's illusions and everything, Whilst that is happening on the TV, what mm -hmm. we'll actually be doing here mm -hmm. is we'll actually be continuing the concerts. Right. And we're recording all that stuff as well. And mm -hmm. I, I think there's some sort of plan to maybe um, put out those extra songs or something in the form of a video and blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. But that's nothing to do with me because I'm, I'm mm -hmm. be the band, but I should be, I should be, you know, playing George Formby songs on the, on the pier or something, you know. Uh, but, um, joke, yeah, joke, you know joke. <laughs> So, uh, so you, it's going to be a regular gig. Good. Sorry. Well, should, I was just going to say, could you kind of give us a little look look um, round then, yeah, what's going well, we'll on? Start off at that end. This is. Um, um, let's see if I can show you my monitors because this this belong in like the British Museum or something. Because like <laughs> there's lots of uh, kind of Iron Maiden memorabilia about as well. You've obviously kind of raided your warehouse of all the eddies and everything. Yeah, this is. Uh, you can't really see behind here. These these things are the, these this from here up to the top there and down the bottom right the way across to here right are your monitors that's vocal monitors <laughs> and the same the other side <laughs> that's a lot of vocal monitors steve's wedges and everything down that's actually jan's Hang wedge on. can i just do this yep. <laughs> there you go <laughs> what, you've, what you've got to do what you've got to be able to do though is take a flying leap yeah and the trip is Trip is, hang on, I can, I can say this now. My ones have got little things in, you see, yeah. so you can you take a huge leap like this and you land on them. Whoa, like that, stand on whatever. <laughs> and if you're really short, you can actually sort of like zip across the top like that. Hang on. Oh, easy, easy. You've got to like hop from one to the other. And you just hope that there's like nobody in the pit because you step on their head. <laughs> um, this is Davy's monitor. He just gets humo humongous amounts of guitar, so you don't want to stand anywhere within about. Ooh, 10 degrees of that, otherwise it just takes your head off. <laughs> Let's have a look over here, because here's one of the illusions of the... Um... Oh, this is Simon's throne. Simon's throne. Hey. Right. This is where Simon sits. Simon Drake, he's the illusionist. And um, there's all kinds of stuff happens on this. Um, there are actually just... Look. I was going to say, uh, it brings to mind the Aerosmith album, Done With Mirrors. Yeah. Uh, well, there's loads of stuff happens here, and... Uh, uh, to be honest with you, um, I don't want to go into it too much, but uh, people have been like chucking up during rehearsals and things. It's been quite gory. Oh yes, it's been quite. It's been quite gory. It really is very good. I mean, you you can actually see this stuff when it's um, when it's being filmed and stand a few feet away and think, how the hell does he do that? You know. Um, very very convincing. I know, of course, how one or two things are done, but not how all of them are done. So should we go and look at uh, this one over here as well? 
because you actually come to a pretty sticky end, don't you? Uh, I can't go into that. It's not the sort of thing that, um, I don't know, the sort of thing you might find in a cabinet minister's bedroom, really. <laughs> Uh, no, we, we, we should also talk about Eddie as well because he's coming on and I believe that it's a, a, a real live Eddie, isn't it? Yeah, we've got the um, uh, we've got the whole sort of Eddie, Eddie costume rigged up for a real human being this mm -hmm. time. And uh, he gets up to some shenanigans and in fact, at the end of the whole show, Simon Drake comes to a very... Um, spiky end uh -huh. the emphasis on the word spiky there That's i think right and then and i have something to do with that as well mm -hmm. and then something very nasty i think happens to me <laughs> which i'm not going to go into at the moment but as you said it will be available hopefully on a home video probably next year actually i, I think the others w were saying ah, um uh, what, what's your schedule after this with regards to your solo work uh i've got a bunch of guys over coming over from la actually they're coming they're coming to see the show um and um, they're, uh, they're actually a band called Tribe of Gypsies. Right. And uh, You've been writing with them, I've haven't writing, you? Well, I've been writing with the, the guitarist, mm. Roy Z. And um, uh, I said, well, while you, if you're going to come and record the stuff, you might as well bring your drummer and bass player and everything. So bring them all over here. So we're going to be over here get, basically getting all these like, ex-LA gang members sloshed in the pubs. <laughs> And it uh, should be a good laugh. Um, Have any idea when your album's going to come out? Well, I'm going to have it finished by, you know, Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I have about 30, 30 songs to pick from. Wow. So it's been be a lot of songs, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of choice. I've sort of gone to, gone to extremes on it just to mm -hmm. see what happens. Mm -hmm. I've had the time and the space. So one or two of the extremes aren't going to make it onto the record. Mm -hmm. um, but it was good to do them in any case, you know, just see what happens, try things out, you know. Uh, so that's going to be coming out and there's, you know, li life's very interesting at the moment, it's great. There's loads of, all kinds of things coming out of the woodwork mm -hmm. and, and different little projects and different little things. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm having a really enjoyable time. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you very much for taking time to talk to us and showing us around this amazing set. It will, hopefully, right. you will get to see it either on the live concert or on a home video out next year. And, of course, very best of luck to you, Bruce, with your solo project. And we, you know we're going to be seeing Bruce <laughs> again probably next year. So uh, good luck with that and with the concert. And uh, we're going to go into a short break now. After that, we're going to stay out on the road because I'm going to be over in New York City to meet up with Morbid Angel. I'm sure they'd enjoy this kind of thing oh, behind they'd, us. They'd be, they'd, be, they'd be well into it, I would imagine, yeah. You know. So stay tuned for that. Morbid Angel in New York City coming up after the break. I'll see you there.